So, my name is Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. I'm here at Narcon in Dayton, Ohio, and one of the cool things about Narcon is to meet other Rocketeers and you get to see the coolest stuff. So, I'm here with Steve Crystal, and Steve brought some unique rockets, you can hold this, it's a pure rocket, and Steve, kind of tell us about this rocket and uh, explain what this is about. This is a international altitude rocket from the FAI International Contest. This particular rocket was made in Russia and exhibits some of their craftsmanship. Somewhat similar to ours, somewhat different, but we always try to learn from each other and uh, fly the best rockets we can fly. So we'll start with the booster here. The booster is made out of ultra-thin fiberglass. Uh, we do this with ours as well, but it's extremely lightweight. Uh, this weighs about uh, 12, ounce, 12 grams. Uh, it's got ultra-thin uh, uh, fiberglass balsa fins, and it ejects a streamer uh, once, it, once it separates uh, that is just tied up next to the fin. Very different from what, what we do in the U.S. Uh, of more interest is the sustainer, which is about nine grams, a little bit heavier than we fly in the U.S. It has carbon fiber fins, again, a ultra-light uh, fiberglass uh, body tube. It's rear ejection, and the internals are, what have, are what's real interest in this. Uh, this is the internal motor mount. Uh, inside this is a little foam plug. For the international competition, we fly with altimeters, and so we take an altimeter, drop it in here, take the foam plug, push the foam plug in, and then prep the motor. The motor goes in the back of this uh, rear ejection motor tube and it gets secured using a little pin and tape. The mylar that you see here is actually the streamer, so that at altitude, this whole unit pops out, the streamer deploys, and hopefully you find it. These should be flying between 1,200 and 1,600 feet. And as you can tell, a six inch model at 1,600 feet can be a little difficult to find. But these are just beautiful craftsmanship. I have a question. Yes. How do they uh, keep the uh, stages together? Is it just the motor? Yeah. This is on, on their models, uh, and you can see there's no lip on the edge, there's nothing that fits into the back here. Uh, they, it's just the motor that sticks out probably half an inch. And slides into the uh, booster, and that enough is to keep it in place. Very cool. Yeah. Truly, truly beautiful. Well, thank you, uh, Steve, for sharing this with us. And you ought to come to Narcon the next time it's in your area. And again, my name is Tim Van Milligan, and come to our website at www.apogeerockets.com.